Hello there YouTube, welcome along to another Steve's cooking video. Yeah, that's right, I am back with another cooking video. Today's cooking video, I am going to be doing tikka masala. So obviously I'm going to be doing that today uh, with some chicken as well. Um, so it is going to be very easy, very simple to do as well. And I thought I would obviously show you guys how I do my chicken tikka masala. So what you need is, it's very simple, you need your tikka masala sauce. You are also going to need some peppers as well. Now these are sweet peppers, but you can also have red pepper in it, you can also have uh, yellow pepper in it, or green peppers in it. Obviously I've gone for the sweet uh, peppers, so I'm gonna have a little bit of uh, some sweet flavoring in it. And then of course you're gonna need your chicken breast fillets as well. The other thing that you are also uh, going to need is, you're going to need some mixed veg as well. So you're gonna need some mixed veg in it as well. So, here we go then. Without further ado, let me just make some room because we are going to start, very, very simply, by putting the camera down there, okay? So you guys can see exactly what I am doing. And then what we're gonna do, is we're going to use a red chopping board. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to, A, first of all, wash my hands because obviously that's what we do before we start prepping the food, is we wash our hands. Okay, and then what we're also going to do, once we've done that, is we are then going to, let me grab the uh, thingy, the tea towel, okay. Now the thing is with the tea towel, right, this is my trouser pocket right here. A chef always carries around a tea towel. So it's always wise just to kind of tuck it in a little bit into your trouser pocket so you've always got a, um, a uh, tea towel on you. Now what I'm going to do is I am just going to very simply um, just basically pop this on here. Now this is a damp cloth, okay? And what this damp cloth is going to do is it's going to kind of stop, it's going to give this uh, chopping board a little bit more support when you're, when you're there cutting, okay? So what we're going to do, very simple, is we are going to do two pieces of chicken with a knife. Get ready for this guys, because this could be either the last ever YouTube video I make, or this could be the, well, this could go right, and yeah. So obviously, here we go. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to see, I can see that there's a little tiny bit of a, just a little tiny bit of just some wastage, really. Um, now this is the bit that's not really, really healthy on a chicken. I'm just looking to see where else there might be. Um, I think there's that little tiny bit there as well. Ooh. Let go. We'll just put the wastage to one side, and then there's also a little tiny bit of wastage there as well. 
Okay, there we go. So, what we're going to do, very simple, is we are going to cut down like this, okay? And we're just going to keep hacking away at the chicken. Like so. Now, if I need to zoom in, I can be more than happy to zoom in just so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit better. That's better. You guys can see. You guys have a bit more closer action. Now, some of these uh, bits of chicken, I'm just going to slice in half, I think. So that we've just got a couple more. We've just got some extra pieces. Whoa, that was close. I need to cut my thumb off. Oh, my days. I nearly just cut my thumb off. I actually did. My thumb was nearly placed underneath the... Uh, oh, God. Underneath the... <laughs> the, uh, the knife. Right, there we go. So, just going to cut this in half. Really, um, that's that's a decent portion. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab another chicken breast fillet. Just going to look around to see if there's any wastage, which there is a little tiny bit, which I can see. Um, just again, a little tiny bit. Again, a little tiny bit there. Tiny bit. There we are. Okay, that's just the that's just the wastage, uh, which we don't really need. Um, and again, we're just going to do the same as last time. Now there's going to be quite a lot of uh, chicken in this, I do think, but that's fine. We're going to fry it off in a second using our little friend called a frying pan. Okay, and again, we're just going to cut this in half, pop it there, like so, pop that in in half as well. I mean, they're going to be very chunky chicken breasts, but it's fine, okay. There we go, and we'll just do this one in half as well like that okay so as you can see there there we go Ew. as you can see a bit of wastage uh, as you can see that there is the chicken chunks that we're going to be frying off in a few moments now obviously you've still got the packet here which obviously what you now need to do is you just need to, I'm just going to wipe my hands. I am going to wash my hands in a second, guys, because obviously I have been handling some raw meat. But just while I very quickly um, just finish off what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just going to grab some cling film. So you can stick your chicken into cling film, or alternatively, if you've got like these clear bags which is what i've got right here i'm just going to very simply put this into a bag actually alternatively you could get both chickens and put them both into the bags and then literally you can bag this up right you can do it up as well so both of the chickens are in there and then what you can do is you can either stick them in the fridge or like me you can just stick it in the in the freezer and then it's in there ready for when you next do your cooking with chicken right now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to wash my hands because <coughs> excuse me because obviously i have touched raw meat and Obviously, last thing we want is to do anything cross-contamination. So, okay, so we've got our chicken, as you can see right there on screen. Chicken's all cut nicely, as you've seen me chop it as well. 
Um, so what we are now going to do is I'm going to have to go into the dishwasher and I'm going to have to go and grab the saucepan. Uh, sorry, the frying pan. So I'm going to need to go and grab the frying pan from the uh, dishwasher because it's currently in the dishwasher at the moment. Uh, what I'm also going to need to do is I'm going to need to switch on the hobs as well, get them going. Um, and then what I'm then going to do is I'm going to turn you guys around so you can see exactly what's going on on screen hopefully you guys can see there we are uh what's going on what i'm then going to do is i'm then just going to switch the oven on high like so get some olive oil in there bung some olive oil in there that might be a bit too much but never mind we've got quite a lot of chicken uh to cook Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to just tidy up really and make sure that everything I have used uh, so far has been put away. Now obviously that has started sizzling, which is a good thing. Now I'm just going to get rid of all the excess wastage. I've probably done the most dangerous thing that you could do in a kitchen and that's carry uh, some excess wastage um, of chicken via a sharp kitchen knife anyway. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just literally going to put them in there like that. Put that in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to space these out. Hopefully they're not going to spit everywhere. That's the last thing I want is for them to start spitting at me. So let's space them out like so. And we're just going to leave those for a little while. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do while we wait, so that's going to be cooking for a little while, so let me turn you guys back round so that you can see exactly what we're doing next, right, so what we're going to do next is let me give this knife that I have used a little wash down because obviously I have used this for for cutting let me just give it a quick little okay next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up two peppers Okay, there's one, there's two, the other one, maybe just stick in the fridge for now, that should be fine. Right, what you need to do, see this here, little stalk, tear it off, when I can. That could have gone a little bit better, to be honest. Pop it down, like that. And what you're going to need to do, very carefully, is kind of cut through it. But you're going to cut in, and then you're going to cut back out. Okay? And you're just going to do this process. 
that in. Okay, just so that then you can kind of work with the bit in the middle. Okay. Oop. That wasn't meant to happen. There we go. Okay. And what I'm just going to do. Literally, that little bit there can go to the little tiny bit there. A bit there, bits of the bits of the middle. Really, we don't need. Really, we don't want. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is let me turn my attention back to the chicken. Okay. Is I'm just literally going to turn these over just because they're starting to become nice and golden. Okay. Make sure they're all turned over. Like that. There we are. We'll leave them to cook. Back to the olives, uh, olives, the peppers, and what we're going to do is we're literally just going to hack through it, okay, Like that, okay, and then it's going to be very simple in a few moments. What I'm then going to do is let's see, just hack them up. Make sure the wastage isn't on the on the chopping board. Okay. And again, this one. Lots of chopping in this video. Okay, lots of chopping. There's going to be a lot of red pepper, but at the same time, there's also going to be a lot of orange uh, pepper as well. Okay. 
So what we're going to do is that's again a bit of excess wastage is we're just going to do the same as what we did. So we're going to cut in but then we're going to want to kind of cut out a little bit to kind of cut away ideally from the, the, the main bit the stalk okay I mean ideally we could probably get away maybe using that bit there as well So let me just get rid of the, the wastage that I've got there. And again, we're just going to do the same kind of principle as what we did with the last one, the last pepper, which is just cut it up and not let the smoke alarms go off. I apologise that it's got a little bit smoky in here, so I'm going to have to open some windows. That's the problem when you're doing cooking sometimes, is that happens, it gets a bit smoky. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. So I think that chicken might be almost done anyway. Um, but yeah, there we go. I do apologise that it has um, that it has obviously done that right so again just going to continue the process just going to continue the process really And then once we've done this, and of course, what we're gonna do is we are then going to chop this up. Nicely does it. Okay. Nicely does it. We're going to have a lot of peppers, but that is that is fine, that is absolutely fine. I mean, I'm not really fussed about peppers and having lots of it. You know, I do find that it's good to have a lot of colour in, um, in some foods. You know, it is very good, and especially when we've also got in this uh, tikka masala we have also got some mixed veg which again is going to give it that extra bit of colour okay now some of these chunks are going to be a lot more chunkier I reckon than some chunks but I'm not really fussed I mean obviously you know um, but there we go I'm just gonna again just make sure that quite a lot of this is cut into little pieces which it pretty much is now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my attentions back to the chicken and then what I'm also gonna do is I'm then just gonna literally put in the peppers with some of it also going 
onto the worktop, which is not really what we want. And then what we're just going to do is we're just going to mix it all together. Okay? So yeah, so we're literally just going to mix all of the peppers together. Right, just while that's cooking for a second, I am just going to shut the front door. As in quite literally, shut the front door. I mean, we've got both windows open anyway, so hopefully that shouldn't be too bad. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm also just going to get rid of the excess wastage of the peppers. Just so that again, we're tidying up as we go. Not making the, the sides look all messy or anything like that. Okay. What I'm then going to do is I'm then going to put in some focus you guys there I'm also going to put in some uh, mixed veg as well now mixed veg of course doesn't take long to do just like the peppers peppers don't take long to fry off so literally I'm just going to do this maybe a little bit more that's it give it a lot of we've got to have a lot of veg haven't we for the mixed veg, of course we have. Um, and then, again, it's just going to be the case of just mixing it in, waiting for it to kind of defrost. I mean, this is going to be one hell of a masala sauce. What I'm also going to do as well, which I've not yet done, but I'm going to do it now anyway, um, is I'm going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then I'm also going to add a little bit of garlic as well, some garlic powder. No, not that, that side. Maybe that side might be better. And if it don't work, then you just get a little teaspoon and get the end of that. We just literally try and crush it. Just so I get a bit of... God, there we are. And you know what? We'll have a bit of onion uh, powder in it as well. You know? Season it. And then what we'll do is we'll then mix that all together. Okay. So we're just literally just going to mix the seasonings in. That's what's going to give it its flavour, is the salt, the pepper, the garlic and the onion, okay? That's what's going to give it its flavouring. And if I'm mixing it all together and not getting it out the frying pan, then, <laughs> uh, then of course it will obviously mix in together like so, okay? And now what I'm going to do, next thing on my list, is we're going to get the curry sauce because that's obviously still going to be cooking okay I'm going to turn it up just a tiny bit okay and what I need is I need some very sturdy hands to do it with
Okay, I'm going to do something I wouldn't normally do. Right, switch on. Okay. I'm going to work. I'm going to basically, because I can't open the jar, I'm going to try and do it, do it via a tin opener. I know it's going to sound a bit silly, but we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm going to tin opener. Let me just turn that back down. Just for a second. Okay. I've turned that back down to a low heat. Oh, got it. I got it. Right, okay. So, once you've done that, very simple. Literally, we pour the masala all in, all in here. Lovely bit of goop. But it's all going in there nicely. Uh, turn that bad boy back up again. Um, there we go. Okay. Um, what we're literally just going to do is we're just going to mix it all together. Really? Okay. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to do this today with rice. Now, what I've done, in theory, is a massive, massive dish of chicken tikka masala. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have half of it for now because, obviously, I'm going to give it a try. Give it a go, see what I think, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the other half for uh, dinner, maybe tomorrow, or for another night, over the next few days at the time of recording this video. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that now, okay? I'm literally just going to, I'll, I'll rest that somewhere, maybe there, for now it's fine, it is in a clean area. Uh, what I'm then going to do is I'm just literally going to get rid of all this excess stuff that obviously we don't need right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that now on a low heat, okay? Put that on a low heat, it's still going to cook, it's all good in the hood. Um, you know, one set that's zooming in, that's zooming out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, of course, I'm gonna bring you guys back up to me. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm just gonna move the move that out of the way because obviously that's a bit of a danger hazard right there. there we are. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do now is normally you could do it with rice. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do it nice, quick, simple, easy thing to do. You can buy basmati rice uh, and obviously you can stand over the hob and, and cook the rice, which obviously sometimes I don't mind doing. But if it's a night like tonight where it's quite late to be honest and I don't want to stand here for another 10 more minutes cooking rice, you know, I want my rice now you know, or very, very sooner rather than 10 minutes, then you can already um, basically pick up this ready-made rice, which all you need to do at that point is just literally break it all up into, so it's all nice and broken in the bag, okay, so that the heat can uh, get in there. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to tear the packet. Now these are microwavable uh, rice packets, okay? And I know that you can actually get various ones. This one that I've got here is just a, a basmati micro rice, okay? Um, and obviously you can get it from all leading supermarkets. So what I've done is just kind of opened it. So to the halfway point, really. And I'm just gonna stick this bad boy in the microwave 
I'm gonna say for two minutes. Okay? And what that's gonna do is it's just going to obviously cook in the microwave for two minutes. And then what I'm gonna do is because this will be ready to serve up very shortly. So obviously I've got my plate here ready for when I um, obviously ready for when I want to serve it up. I'm also going to have or use, should I say, a Tupperware. Now the reason why I'm going to do that, and if I bring you guys back to the 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 pots and stuff like that, so there we go. You guys can see that perfectly. All I'm going to do, I'm going to say now that this is safely cooked. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of put some in here, okay, because obviously this is going to be for a meal for another night, okay. I'm going to say, do one more scoop in there, alright. And what I might even do, actually, just because it's a safe idea, is I'm going to stick that in the freezer, but I'm not going to do it just yet. I'm going to wait for a little while um, before that, um, of course, happens. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move you guys round to there. I don't know how well you guys are going to see this. Or not, but obviously I will just adjust the the camera so that the plates in shots. I know that all that there's in shot as well. I do apologise, um, but there we go. Right. So the micro rice is done. It is piping hot, and all you need to do then is you can safely just tear it off, and then of course just pour it gently without burning your fingers onto your plate okay now if need be you know you can just kinda space it out a little bit okay which is what I'm just gonna do is just space it out a little bit just so that you know it's sort of covering most of the plate and then what we're then gonna do Once we've done that, so there we go, that's all done. I can safely leave that there. Grab this, grab this, and then we're just going to tilt this onto there. Look, lovely stuff. Look how beautiful this looks. Okay, there we are. And that is how you make chicken chicken tikka masala boom done finished product everybody i'm going to show you this look that oh that is how you do a chicken tikka masala I am very impressed with that. I am very pleased with that as well. Um, sorry for zooming in too much. Um, come back to me. Yeah. So there we go. So that is how you make chicken tikka masala. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, maybe you're a new viewer to this channel, welcome to my channel. Of course I do various videos, gaming videos, cooking videos, movie reviews, album reviews, uh, weekly vlogs and all of that jazz. Alright, please hit the subscribe button down below if you would like to see more of my content in the near future, okay? That is all from me, but from me though is goodbye. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to leave a comment down below if you would like to as well. But from me, it's goodbye. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video.